Okay, so we've done turning our request IP into some coordinates. Ta-da. All right. Next step is to draw a map. Actually, there's some in-between step. Before we draw a map, let's look at our code again. We actually have two to-do lists. So we said we're going to look up the user's coordinates from their IP. So let's go ahead and do that here. Chords equals get chords self.request.remote adder. Okay, that should work. And then we said if we have coordinates, add them to the art. Right now, our art object doesn't take any coordinates. So let's add an extra property to our art. Chords equals db.gopt property. Again, I found that this existed when I was reading the Google Data Store docs. And, and since we're returning a geo point here, we can store it in a geo point property. And again, this is a Google specific data type for storing the latitude and longitude. And it's super convenient. Now, I'd like to say required equals true, but we already have some art in our database that doesn't have coordinates. So we have a couple options here. We could either delete all that art and start over, but being that ASCII Chan is a famous site on the internet and everybody's using it, we don't want to just break. We'll just make this parameter not required, and we'll just have it for future ones. This is something that comes up all the time when you're developing web applications. It's kind of backwards compatibility because you're often adding features, tweaking your data model. This is one of the reasons things can get a little hairy. But it's also one of the reasons what the web is really neat because you can kind of develop iteratively. We're adding our chords to our art, and we're going to go down here and say, if we have coordinates, add them to the art. That's easy. If chords, basically if get chords doesn't return none, p.chords equals chords. Now we're good. Let's go ahead and try submitting some art in our browser and see if we get an exception. Reload this. Let's submit a new picture. Call this one cat. Enter in a picture of a cat and we'll submit this. OK, well, I didn't see any exceptions. Let me show you something handy we can do in Google App Engine to make sure this actually submitted properly. You may notice that when you start up App Engine, it actually mentions in the console that the admin console is available at this URL or at a URL like this. Let's go ahead and visit that. And um, let me show you something we can do. It defaults to the data store viewer. And it selects all of the entity kinds we have. We only have one in this dropdown. So if I click List Entries, I can see all of my entries. And I can see here is uh, camel and here is cat, my two entries. And I can see that camel doesn't have any coordinates because we entered that before we added this feature. And we can see our cat has map coordinates. So our feature is working, and that's pretty cool. And there's all sorts of handy stuff in this tool here. You know, you can check out your indices and all, all sorts of cool stuff. It's neat to poke around in here, but working with the database, you know, this is a particularly handy view. All right, so let's get out of here for now, and let's move on to the next feature, which is actually drawing this map.